So what we will show next is uh, the main incision and the side ports. Um, also, the first um, surgeries actually in the first month, I think, um, of, of my surgical career. Um, you see that um, this is a temporal approach, as we said before, and we'll just give it a go. This is real time, right? Yes, this is real time, and also the the tremor is in real time. <laughs> yeah, the, the tremor is brilliant. brilliant. Yeah, so it, what you see good. there regarding the tremor is that you you don't have a natural tremor, right? So you, you're not really naturally shaken. It is just that one one is excited, and um, you you don't really have the perfect position of the armrests. Oh, look, oh this one. this is a good tremor. It's a good one. Yeah, you don't need phaco. <laughs> No, so you need you need to find your position of the armrests, and what we what we're looking at now is is only is only the tunnel incisions that um, Lucas is making there. Oh, you see that the eye is moving too much, way too much. And, uh, I think I'm in the epithelium right now. This is another important thing that 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 you see there that you are not really at the beginning. It's quite natural not to do the main incision but to, to doubt the main incision and to doubt every step on the way. And I think you can see that brilliantly on the, on the way you move on, on, and the way you handle things. And now you can see that there's still some shaking, but the shaking gets better. This is a decentralized vision, another thing. Yeah, that's, that's a problem. Sometimes it's even still now a problem, the decentralized vision, but uh, obviously you, you, you learn to, to center the scope better. But what, what we can see here is that every incision looks different so that's a problem as well yeah. you need the, to be standardized and um, I think it's really hard in the beginning you know to not to go too much clear cornea not to to go um, too much uh, towards the limbus so I personally like when uh, when there is a little bleeding to, to barely nick the, the limbal vessels um, I think you like to go more clear cornea right yes I, I well everything is very very hard at at the beginning so to speak and what we see here is, is really just a, a show of, of many many tunnel incisions there and you can see how much it varies and it's okay to vary so what we actually want to achieve here is a three-step tunnel that we do this is very clear cornea for example i personally like to go very clear cornea I want to go too too much to the limbus um, there, there is a chance that you have um, that you create a um, flux or efflux of a BSS under the conjunctiva, yeah. um, and um, you won't see that well. But still, oh, this is this is very clear. Corner. <laughs> but in the in the same time, if you go more towards the, the limbus, then uh, you technically should have a lower risk for endophthalmitis, and uh, the the wound seals better. And uh, I think that's also very important. So uh, I mean, the, the the subconjunctival problem that's a temporary problem that can make the the course of the surgery harder. But uh, in the end, it uh, it's not a problem afterwards. Yeah, that's so. right. Okay, now we go into the side ports. So we have two side ports um, working with two paracentesis side ports. This is um, a right eye. And what is very important for the side ports is if you angle your um, incision of the side ports, it's, um, it, it's sometimes no one tells you that, but you should aim to the contralateral um, anterior chamber angle. Yeah, that's what you always told me. Yeah. I remember that. So you can, you can aim your side ports in, into three different directions, basically. You can, you can aim it... Um, you should, in my opinion, you should aim it um, at the contralateral um, anterior chamber angle. This is one version to do it. The other extreme is to, to aim it in an iris parallel fashion. You do that in, in, in IFIS, where you have um, a floppy iris syndromes and stuff. And um, there is also things, if you have a small eye or very deep eye, then you can aim the side ports towards the center of the lens. So these are the three things where you want to aim. But it's very important that you know where you're aiming. But sometimes you start with the side ports and you just want to get it over with. Um, but when you aim the side ports, um, if you have that aim in your head, 
it's very important to have that and to remember that because you will insert your instruments sooner or later through these side ports and if you don't know into uh, which direction you have um, designed your side ports, you will have problems entering the eye and um, I think it's very, very hard for everyone that starts surgery if you are entering the eye and you, you can't really enter the eye. Um, for your instructor, that sometimes can be painful as well. If you have somebody who's, you know, fiddling around, can't get the things yeah. inside the eye. It takes a long time to, to create to, to, a good tunnel, yeah, right? To, to be standardized, you know, to have a tunnel that looks always the same, how it should be, a, a good ceiling tunnel. And also, um, I think you, you need to, to think about what, um, what's the best. So do you want that? There are surgeons with, uh, with doing these small incisions with uh, like a uniplanar tunnel and um, they say it's enough. Others say they, they want a, a two uh, planner or B planner and others uh, a three planner. So um, I think first you need to, to, to get an idea what you want and then to do it a, a lot until it's, it's getting okay.